Hello, Colette here, and in this video I am going to show you how to use this great image tool called XHeader. This is a free tool. It works extremely well. Now here I'm just taking away what I had previously done so that we can start with a blank slate. To start, we'll just hit on the new tab, create a new header, and select the size that we want our image to be. It can be just about any size. You can make headers, banners, clickable images, favicons, because you do have a wide range of sizes that you can use. So this one is going to be 500 by 500. And this is an ad that I am going to, an image that I'm going to use for an ad. Now here's your side scroll bar. And now we're going to put a background. So I clicked on that red square, which we're going to fill in with a color. And this one's going to be black. You can make it any color you want, and you have the ability to change it as you go also. So I want my whole image background to be black. So I'm just going to put a little black dot and stretch it out. Make sure you use your side scroll bar to make sure that you've actually covered the whole image. There we go. Double check. Yeah, it's all good. Now we're going to put an image. Apply an image. I'm going to go to my desktop, find an image. If you notice, I just clicked on the image tab in the software itself. We'll do it again so you'll see how I did that. There we go. Now within here, we can actually resize the image, which is a great feature also. I'm going to change the color of the background because I wouldn't have been able to see that little black dot otherwise. I'll make it black again a little later when I'm done. Here I am centering, well first I'm resizing, now centering the image, a little black dot, align it with the line in between the red square and the white circle, that's your center point. That's a point of reference for center. There you go. Putting it in place, checking it out. Oh good, now another image. Click on image tab. I'm going to go back to my messy desktop to find my second image. A little bit slow. Wonder I can find anything in here. Someday it will clean it all up. There it is. And click on it and there like magic it appears now this one is also too large so I'm gonna resize it center it put it where I want to put it that looks pretty good now if remember to scroll down make sure it's in the position that you want it to be in now I'll make my background black again Go. All I did was actually click on the background, change the color, and we're all good to go. Now, under options, we can actually view in browser to give us an idea of what it looks like. And it looks pretty good. It's all centered. There we go. And I want to save it, so I'm going to hit save as. You have a choice between the JPEG and the ping. I like the JPEG. And they give you the strange option of whether you want an excellent, a very good, or a superb rendition of your image. Of course, you're going to click on the superb. Superb. Going to give it a name and save it. And that's, this, that's how easy it is. Now, there are a lot of other options that we can use within this software. For a free tool, 
it's pretty good. There's quite a lot of things that you can do with it. You can uh, layer your images in this scroll bar here, this toolbar, there's all different things. Here's your text button. I'll give you a quick show how you can use that. There you can choose your font, give you a nice choice of fonts. I think I'm going to go with impact. Usually it's nice and bold. I want you to be able to see it. There we go. Uh, there, there's where you choose the size that you'd like it to be. You're going to make it quite large so we can see it. I gave it a little click there and that's where it's going to appear. Just type in what you want. There, there's bold, italic. Don't think I want italic. Okay, now down below here we have other effects that we can emboss. Glow. Now it's white so you're not seeing it. Let's change that color just so you can see that glow effect. Blue. Okay. Now see, you don't see that blue too, too much. So I'm going to actually make the, that blue line thicker so that you see it stands out more. Isn't that better? There we go. And move it around wherever you want to put it. Here's a transparency tool which you can really do a lot of effects with this. See how it becomes transparent you can see the image behind it right through there. I'm going to bring it back. Now watch if I do the large image and I make it transparent. I can see my text a lot better. Oh, I forgot to click it so it moved. It came with me. I was dragging it. All right, let's put it back into place and adjust the transparency again. There. Now there are a lot of other things that you can do with this. And I'll uh, probably I'll make a second video, probably just as long, so I can show you all the other options. See you on the other side next video. And if you liked it, feel free to like the video, favor the video, or subscribe to the channel. Thank you.